good morning children i am from aryan central academy today we are going to discuss the uh, remaining parts of science subject from class 6 lesson number 4 So in last class, I have given up to uses of jute and flakes and coir. I have given homework to you, right? You just read in everything given in book. Um, then uses of flakes, uses of coir. You just write in your copy, okay? Now come to silk cotton. Where we get the silk cotton from kopak tree, okay? Kopak tree is a deciduous tree that grow more than two hundred feet and sets live in dry seasons. Deciduous means this one. That tree grows mainly in autumn season, okay? then kopak tree fruits open then we get the fiber and this fibers mainly used to make the pillows means this one silky cotton okay here is the picture you see this one first kopak tree then we get the fruit open then we get the fiber so it name as silk cotton and then you see other plant fiber hemp ramia sisals are other fibers obtained from plants Hemp is obtained from stem of hemp or cannabis plant that grow in base loamy soil. Loamy soil means this one actually most fertile soil, okay, rich soil. Fiber is used to make ropes, carpet, net, cloths, and paper. From hemp fiber, this one used hemp fiber is used for rope, carpet, net, cloths, and paper making. Then ramia is obtained from stem of ramia plant and the fiber is used to make canvas, swing thread, fishing nets, and parachutes. Same. And last one is sisal fibers obtained from leaves of sisal plant and is used for making ropes, nets, and mats. Hemp plant, then ramia plant, then sisal plant. You see here the picture of this one: hemp plants, then this one ramia plants and sisal plants. All are silky fiber plants used to make ropes, fishing nets, and etc. Which one given in book? Now come to animal fiber. Plant fiber complete animal fiber. The animal, the main animal fiber used for various purposes are wool and silk. From animal, the two fibers we get wool and silk. Wool basically obtained from uh, hair of various type of animals like sheep, camel, right? And wool we mix um, generally used for making cloths, woolen cloths, um, sweater, pullovers. Right, then silk. Silk is obtained from cocoons of silkworm. Silkworm is type of insect. From that insect, we get silk fiber. You see here, wool we get from animals like sheep, camel, goat. This one from animals we got the wool. And then silk fiber we get from cocoons plant. This one silk thread. See, silk is used for making silk sarees. Nectis, expensive dress materials, etc. Silk thread is also used for embroidery, right? Now, come to loom machines. How fiber can convert it to thread and thread convert it to cloths that we wear. Looms are of two type: hand looms and power loom. Hand loom, which one made by self, and power loom, that one run by electric. Fiber converted to thread, then thread converted to cloths with the help of these two looms. And at last, come to synthetic or man-made fiber. Synthetic or man-made fiber is the fiber which one used by, uh, which one made by mixing chemicals like rayons or artificial silk. These are made by using chemicals. You see here rayons. These are made by using chemicals in laboratory now you see natural fiber versus synthetic fiber here comparison between natural fiber and synthetic fiber strange capacity of natural fibers and synthetic fiber tears on exerting pressure do not tear easily natural fibers do not tear means to jana do not tear on exerting pressure when we give pressure on natural fiber like cotton it tears easily but synthetic fibers do not tear easily now absorption capacity of Cotton cloths and silk cloths highly permeable absorb large amount of water. Cotton cloths absorb water easily, but silky cloths do not absorb water easily. Dry take time to dry up. Again, cotton cloths take time to dry, but silky cloths dry up easily in short time. Burning then burn with sooty flame with a characteristic odor. It leaves powder like ash. It's burn slowly, right? Cotton cloths. 
burns slowly and it gives some smell and it leaves powder like ash ash means you know this one in hindi it called rak right but silky clothes burn quickly and it gives smell like plastic burning maintain require more maintenance require less maintenance so cotton clothes require more much maintenance but silky clothes not too much maintenance then from chapter 4 i just give you short summary right chapter name is our chapter name from fiber to fabric clothes from fiber to fabric i just give you a summary of the lesson you just read at home this one if you get any problem you directly ask me in next class i give you question answer thank you